Signals are the things that stop trains from crashing into each other, and it is the number one rule that you obey them and respond to them in time. However, this rule was sadly forgotten on the 19th of September 1997 in Southall, England. Late in the morning, the 1032 Great Western train service was on its way from Swansea to London Paddington. The train was an intercity 125 HST that was formed of power car 43173, 8 Mark III coaches and power car 43613. Ahead of the train, at Southall, there was another train. A Hansen Limited Class 59 Loco 59101, a mile in the distance pulling a freight train being driven by Alan Bricker. The HST would wait at Southall to let the freight train pass it. Since the train was arriving into the Great London area, the driver was packing his bags when the train zoomed past the station. Then, the driver sees the freight train crossing the track that he is on. He froze on the emergency brakes, but it was too late. <laughs> A CCTV camera nearby records the entire crash, however the raw footage was never leaked. A reconstruction was made from the footage and it was then made public. The coaches lay twisted and broken. Six people died in the crash and one more died in hospital. The HST driver, Larry Harrison, was indicted with and charged for manslaughter by gross negligence, but the case collapsed. Great Western Trains was fined £1.5 million for not having a system to ensure trains were not operated for long trips with AWS inoperative. The rule book was changed, saying the following. <coughs> If a competent person is provided, proceed at normal permissible speed to the location where the train can be dealt with. During poor visibility, the train must not exceed 65 km an hour. Or, if a competent person is not provided, proceed at a speed not exceeding 65 km an hour or any lower permissible speed that may apply to the location where a competent person is available where the train can be dealt with. Unfortunately, these changes would only take place after the 1999 Ladbroke Grove train crash.